Should we make like a funny, uh, what are the UAV features intro? Ay, and did I? I don't know, I don't think anyone can do that. No. <laughs> Even me as an Australian, I don't think. <laughs> that guy, that guy cracks me up. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. So this is the first ever kind of tabletop discussion. Uh, we got Malcolm in the house, boom. We got a bunch of quads in the house. And we're just going to have a talk about things that we're going to be doing and using uh, on a daily basis in our uh, quad daily life. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Hello, I'm Malcolm. I'm Malcolm. I'm in the house and we're going to a discussion on the drone and the things that we're going to use currently in the day. So we're going to be here and we'll be here and we'll be here. Malcolm, what do we want to talk about first? Well, I reckon, let's talk about these two little guys here because we were going to set up uh, AZ's rooster with a new receiver because he's switched, finally, switched from Team Failsafe, which is Spectrum, to the mighty Tyrannus. Yeah. About time. Uh, so he's gone and got two receivers, but unfortunately, one is right and one is wrong. He bought, uh, we were originally going to put this one in, which looks like the FreeSky X4R SB, which SB stands for... An S bus, uh, but this is the D4R. It's not S bus, which means it's old school PPM. So for those guys that used to fly old school planes, uh, where you had you know, four different servos, so four different channels, that's this guy, uh, which is no good for mini quads because whilst you can use those four channels on mini quads, we use S bus because it's faster. So I guess it's like using uh, old school yeah. talking versus uh, you know high speed digital. wire yeah, yeah digital and so that's where this little guy is so you can probably do a tiny C there um, so he's tiny he's S bus which is fantastic uh, so we can put that into his rooster and we're going to do that a little later so big thing is is that all these guys here are all S bus it's really important to do S bus because it's much faster protocol We'll come back to what this is, which is Crossfire, which is the faster again, but we'll come back to that in a little bit. All right. Of course, I can talk about the receiver with you about the receiver. This is, of course, the receiver. I bought the Tyrannus and I bought the receiver. But this receiver is considered on the system of PPM and not the system of SBUS. So I'm wrong, of course, when I bought it. Uh, ما دريت نفس الماركة ولا النوع الريسيفر وطلع انه بي بي ام واس بس اه وات وي دو فشريت هذه هذه الحمد لله طلع انه اس بس وهذه اللي احنا ان شاء الله نسوي لها انستول وان شاء الله نسوي لها فيديو ثاني آه بس بتكون هذه افضل طبعا عشان اسرع في الرسال والبي بي ام طبعا يعتبر تقنيه قديمه فان شاء الله نحل الموضوع مع هذه ونشتري تلمتري فول ريسيفر ثانية غير هذه نشتري الاس بس ونعمل لها انستول فوجد نظري لا تستخدمون هذولا اللي هو نظام البي بي ام استخدموا الاس بس عشان اسرع وافضل. كول. Well the next tool in our arsenal for an FPV pilot is your goggles. So you've probably seen AZ and myself wearing these all the time. And these ones here are the new or the latest generation. Uh, so Fat Shark is probably the biggest uh, brand in the industry. Uh, AZ uses Sky Zones, which are you know the the other brand. Uh, these are the latest ones, which are OLED uh, screens. So they're a lot brighter. The blacks you get to see a lot more depth in your your colours. Uh, the previous models to these were LCD screens, but uh, so this guy is the latest generation. The colors on this are amazing. I absolutely love it. I've got a set of HD3s which are before this, and this is just amazing. And we've got a diversity receiver, that's why we have two antennas. So this guy here is my patch antenna, which sees really well. It's a bit like, uh, uh, this is not the right explanation, but like a flashlight looking out this way to receive our signal from the uh, the quad, and this is our uh, omnidirectional. So uh, this one's good for flying distance in that direction, and this one's for flying right around me. All right. 
سو so, uh, طبعا يا جماعه هذه هي النظارات اللي هو الجاج اللي احنا نستخدمه عشان تحكيم الطياره uh, طبعا في الفيديوهات كلها تشوفني انا لابس هذه واحكم في الدرون بالطريقه دي ففي كاميرا داخل الدرون وتقدر تحكم على طريقه النظاره لكن النظاره هذه افضل نظاره الحين في السوق uh, بالنسبه لشركه فات شارك هي اجدد شيء واجدد نوع وعليها باتنت انا وامني دايركشنال انتنا آه طبعا زي ما قال الاستاذ باتشنت انا عشان تشوفها الان سايت آه مثلا الطياره قدامك هي يعطيك افضل رساله آه من وجهه نظرك يعني اذا انت متواجه على واحد دايركشن لكن اذا تبغى الرساله يفيدك من وراء او من اي ناحيه آه تستخدم الامني دايركشن وهذا عليها الموديول اللي هو الدايفرستي فعندك النظامين فهي ممتاز والله والاول دي واحد من الميزات عنده انه الشاشات اوضح وبرايتر يعني يطلع لك شاشه يطلع لك صوره مره مره ممتاز فطبعا ما انتم يحبون مره الفات شارك لكن انا استخدم السكاي زون فسكاي زون هي البي 2 مو اجدد واحد لكن صراحه بالنسبه لي يعني يعطيك نفس الادوات عند الدايفرستي فانا استخدم باتش زي مالكم اللي هو لي وعندي نفس الامني دايركشن اللي اللي هو المشروم انت المشروم ايش مشروم كيف مشروم كلور كلور مشروم كلور اللي هو الكلور فهي نفس الشيء لكن طبعا الشاشات اللي عنده في النظاره الاو ال دي افضل وافضل وهي اجدد تقنيه ويعتبر يعني شيء جديد لكن حاليا انا لسه مع السكاي زون في 2 ويمكن احول على الاو ال دي بعد فتره ما ادري اورايت كو Thing. We got a whole bunch of different quads here. Um, this little guy's AZ's new one, which is a bit of a the talk around the town. It's the um, E Max Hawk 5, which is for a ready to fly quad, so it means you don't have to build it like you have to do with these guys here, which we'll cover in a moment. This guy is amazing, absolutely amazing. Out of the box, flies brilliantly. You don't need to do anything. Literally go out, fly, crash, repeat. Yeah. Fly, crash, repeat. Yeah. Repeat lots. Repeat. Lots. <laughs> so when you're learning, طبعا ناحية تعليم هذه الهوك 5 الاي ماكس تجي لك جاهز ما 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 تحتاج تسوي لك بيلد زي هذول. فيكون للناس اللي توهم داخلين الهواء وهم ما يبغوا يعملون بيلد هذه شيء يعني رهيب جدا ما شاء الله تشيلها من الصندوق وتطير على طول. وبعدين سريع وعنده افضل ادوات الحين في السوق. عند الـ الـ الكاميرات وكل شيء يعني الاي ماكس محركات الفي تي اكس كلها ممتازه ما شاء الله جدا جدا ف اذا تبغون راي تبغى شيء جاهز هو الاي ماكس فاير اتوقع 250 دولار تقريبا 250 بوكس اي ثينك از وات كوست ذاتس كريزي يا فيري تشيب سو اي دونت نو هاو ذي جيت اول ذا بارتس فور ذات ذاتس كريزي اند ذن سو اف يو دونت يو نو اف يو وونت تو فولي كاستمايز يور ماشين and you feel like building and you want to learn how to solder and all that sort of stuff, then you move on to one of these different guys. And there's, there's tons, you know, like the rooster that we're going to see. Oh, yeah, that was, that was mid-project. This one, uh, you know, we've got a rooster here. So really then you can customize as much as you like. The, the problem you're going to have with something like this, very good, but you're going to crash it and then you're going to have to fix it anyway in terms of putting a new part in or a new motor so you're going to have to learn how to solder an ESC or you know, change a motor and stuff anyway um, whereas once you go for one of these you're doing that right from the beginning you just get a bunch of parts and you customise what you want and then you're putting it all together soldering a little bit of programming which is pretty easy these days and then you move on yeah, yeah I bought my quad um Built like I, I know how to build, and then I bought that. So I did not go to this first. I was building other stuff, helicopters and everything else. So I had a bit of experience. So uh, I would be like Malcolm, try to build something small first and fly that stuff and learn how to do it, and then you get much better as you go along. But طبعا زي ما قال استاذ Malcolm حيفيدكم إذا أنتم تسوون تجميع هو um, طبعا افضل عشان انت تعرف طريقه التلحيم والبرمجه وحتتعب شويه لكن تتعلم مع نفس الوقت فاحنا دائما هنا في السعوديه معاكم اخوكم عبد الهادي عزوز وفي مجموعه ناس قاعدين يطيرون واذا تحتاجون شيء تقدروا تواصلون معنا على طريق يوتيوب في اي وقت. 
Cool. You probably can see here all the motors and stuff are very different on each of the quads. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what you get. You know, just follow someone that you like online. But particularly if you're going to build here in Saudi, where you know getting parts quickly is a, a problem, the best thing is is to find a friend that's getting into it with you, or you know, come and talk to one of us and buy the same parts as your friend or someone else you know because then you've got common parts so if you burn out a motor you can ask your friend hey do you have another Emacs motor and you do and then you can keep flying rather than having to order in all the time absolutely good recommendation طبعا اذا انت جديد في الهواية يبغالك تنسق مع ناس يعني محترفين يعرفون ايش وضع القطع غيار وكل شيء ويفضل انه تنسق مع واحد عنده يمكن تقريبا نفس الاجهزه نفس الادوات ونفس المحركات وكل شيء تستخدمها على الكواد عشان المفيد انه لو حصل شيء محرك الحرك عليك يعني تقدر تبدل معاه او تستخدم شيء منه وبعدين تطلب شيء ثاني فهيروح يفيدكم يعني في النهايه فهذه اتوقع واحد من افضل الطرق عشان عندنا مشكله في السعوديه طبعا ما في مبيعات داخل المملكه وكل شيء ينطلب فهذه واحد من الحلول يعني انا ومالكم على نص الطياره هذه يمكن حيكون عندنا نفس المحركات الاي ماكس وكل شيء نقدر نبدل مع بعض. كو نيكست بيج ديفرنس اللي يو سي از بين يور فريندز اند اني ون ايلس اون لاين از ذيز ثري ديستينكت ديفرنت كامبس اوف فلايت كنترولر سو ذا برينز بيهايند ايفري ثينج سو يو جوت ريس فلايت نو ون يوز ذيس ريس فلايت So forget about race flight. So there's only two. Yeah. Okay. Technically. <laughs> so you've got beta flight, which is there's a whole bunch of boards which yeah. use beta flight, and then you've got KISS. Now, probably the best analogy or closeness here is PC and Mac. So Mac is proprietary, Mac only runs on Mac, and the operating system only runs on Mac computers, whereas PC You know, you can run Linux, you can run everything. There's lots of different software you can put on a, a PC. Uh, and that's where we're different. Uh, so AZ is very much a beta flight guy, and I'm a KISS guy. KISS, in my opinion, as the name spells out, is just very simple. You plug everything in, the interface uh, has very few options, and it's just easy set, beautiful flying, and it just feels really nice, in my opinion. Uh, very easy to set. Not many options, which is fantastic. But then on beta flight, you've got a billion different <laughs> combinations you can do, uh, and it's endless in what it can do. Uh, so I like. I'm a kiss person. Yeah. So beta flight. I'll, I'll do this part in English. For beta flight is just something that I went with because it's like Malcolm said. You follow some people online. Uh, you start picking up stuff. Joshua Birdwell, uh, other guys that had a lot, a lot of support. Um, and getting people into it, and that's what I did, you know. So plus, um, you know, Horizon Hobby and those other ready, ready to fly RCs and stuff all use um, Beta Flight. So um, that's just kind of where I started at, you know, and uh, and I I kept with it because it was it was easy to plug and play and do different things. So um, and there was a massive amount of support out there, so it's pretty good. زي ما يقول يعني في نظام ال ال flight controller في عندك نوعين. ثلاث انواع لكن بنقول نوعين فقط اللي هو الكيس وال شو اسمه البيتا فلايت كنترولر فانا طبعا استخدم بيتا فلايت واخونا مالكم يستخدم الكيس طبعا زي ما مالكم يقول كيس يعتبر زي نظام ماكنتاش او 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 ويندوز وبيتا فلايت يعني نفس الشيء فهي بتكون هذا كيف تقاونهم يعني واحد ماك واحد بي سي Spidey's here to save the day. <laughs> What's up? You want to be in the video? <laughs> Say hi. My little man. This guy's gonna be the next, uh, the next. Uh, what is it? Sharpu or or Mr. Steel? <laughs> Not Sharpu. All right. Um, the other differences you can see in the quads here really are just manufacturers. So we've got the frame that we saw before, which is Emacs, and you got the Rooster. Who makes yes. Rooster? Armaton. Armaton. Yeah. And then uh, I'm a Impulse fan, so I've got the Impulse Alien here and a new build, which is the Reverb here. But 
Again, a frame is a frame. You know, find something that, again, like we spoke about with the motors and any components, find a friend that is flying the same thing yeah. and then get the same frame. So that way, when you break an arm, and you will, yeah. um, then you've got <laughs> spare parts with your friend. Okay. I can't advocate that enough. Yeah. What? MashaAllah, the Souq, and the Zayn Emax, and the Armaton Rooster, and the Impulse uh, Alien. So, of course, all of them are great. You just choose the frame that you like, or the shape, or the type of plane you want. If you want something for the races, or something for the movements, or the tilt, or the freestyle. So, yeah. As you say, the best thing is to have one with you, and your friend has the same frame. So, if you break your hand or your arm, you can change it on the spot. Okay. Uh, probably the next big thing that we've got here is um, you know, maybe three years ago was uh, 3S and now everyone's moving to 4S which is the uh, pretty much the standard for mini quads these days. I'm still on 3S. <laughs> it's tiny, tiny little 3S. It, it's <laughs> not the size that matters, no. it's what you do with it. Right? <laughs> That's right. See, see AZ, AZ is this big. <laughs> need, need to be bigger. Like yeah. Like that yeah. big overcompensation. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, yeah, so really, you know, 4S is what pretty much everyone's using these days, and it's fantastic. Um, except towards the end of the battery, once you're getting towards the end of uh, your flight, you're going to notice sag in terms of there's just not that much energy in the quad anymore, and uh, which is fine, it gives you a warning that uh, you, know, you need to come back, but sometimes that means you're landing 100 meters away and you could have to go and walk and grab your quad. Where the industry, I think, is going to move to, where you know, 4S is the standard, I think we're gonna to move towards 6S in the future, which is, so these guys are, what, 16, 14.8 uh, volts at resting charge, and these are 22.2, so you're getting an extra 30% of voltage out of this guy. Um, the problem is, as soon as you start running voltages like this, you've got to really have to think about your build uh, to protect your equipment because we're running a lot of voltage <coughs> in there. And you're going to start to do things like have capacitors on your ESCs to even out the uh, electricity flow. Uh, I've just started experimenting with 6S and I kind of like it. It's really nice. Batteries are super expensive. Uh, and the build is a little bit of a pain with putting the capacitors on, uh, and I'm still getting to learn it. And I'll, we'll come back to what's in this Yeah, we actually, we, we actually shot some video today, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll be able to put that on there. We shot some video today, which is really neat, side-by-side -side comparison. We'll end up putting that stuff out, and it really shows you um, how the performance and the current draw and everything is on that 6S versus the 4S. So that'll be pretty cool. So we'll cut to that now. نتكلم على موضوع البطاريات طبعا بطاريات هنا عندنا في السعوديه مستحيل انه تحصل عليه وانا دحين بدور على طريقه رسميا انه ندخل بطاريات تبع الهوايه بالنسبه للدرونز اللي هو الفور اس هذا النظام دحين حاليا في السوق كل الناس قاعدين يستخدموا الفور اس لكن النظام الجديد بتكون ال 6 اس ما شاء الله تبارك الله 6 اس از طبعا بطاريه اكبر عندك الفولت على 22.2 وعندك هذه ال 14.8 فطبعا عندك فولتج اكثر ويعطيك طاقه اكثر وبعدين يمكن حتحصل بعد انه ما حتحصل ساق زياده يعني نهايه البطاريه بتبقى تبقى معاك الطاقه يعني الى نهايه البطاريه وتعطيك البنش اللي انت تبغاها يعني وقت تبغاها فبتكون يعني ممتاز حاليا هذا النظام هي في السوق كل الناس بس اتوقع ان السوق حيتحركوا على نظام ال 6 اس وحنشوف ان شاء الله قريبا ونشوف ايش الموضوع ان شاء الله بتكون تمام. Alright. Alright, so we'll talk about crossfire. So uh, you can see this has got a, a bit of a weird antenna on it and we've got a, a box in the back of the Tyrannus here which we can put a crossfire transmitter on. So 
Standard radios like this, um, without the crossfire, transmit on 2.4 megahertz, and you know, the range is good. You know, for general flying, it's fantastic. You're easily going to get a kilometer, no problems at all. Uh, and in fact, you know, some of the movies that we've done, uh, probably eight, the, one of the first ones that Hazy and I did, you know, cruising down on the, the cliffs here in Riyadh, yeah. were on 2.4, no problems at all, and it had no problems. But if you want to go that little bit further, or just have that little bit more confidence, that's so the security, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. And it's, you know, you're pushing your 2.4 link to the limits, and yeah. you really don't want that. Uh, you know, that fail safe and that crash when you're a kilometer away and lose a quad. Oh, like this guy. Uh, and you just want that security, then you can go crossfire. Now you're talking about this module here and the antenna, this is running on UHF, so now we're at uh, 900, uh, and 900 frequency, 900 megahertz? 900 megahertz. megahertz. And uh, this guy will easily push you out more than a couple of kilometers and it will push you out past what your video transmitter is going to put out so that means as you're starting to go out you're going to lose you're going to lose your video before you lose control of your quad which is really what you want you don't want to lose control of your quad and still have a perfect video because that just is going to mean that you're going to crash but okay. uh so that's crossfire on uhf يا جماعة نتكلم دحين على موضوع الترانزميتر عندنا هنا طبعا ترانس زيد عندي لكن هذا عنده تشوف الانتنة هذه الغريبة شكلها كده هذه هي طبعا الكروس فاير عندك الماجول هنا تقدر تركبها على الترانس وهذه الكروس فاير ماجول حتعطيك مسافة طبعا زيادة إلى أتوقع اثنين كيلو but two kilometers right uh, easy two kilometers yeah. and this Sad. is yeah. this is the little crossfire not the big one yeah طبعا هذا الصغير مو الكبير لكن عندنا الكبيرة تعطيك مساحة أكثر طبعا لكن هذا النظام ممتاز إذا أنت تكون يعني تبى تكون يعني مرتاح بالطيران وتتأكد إنه ما حيضيع عندك الرسالة تنقطع عندك الرسالة طبعا تستخدم الكروسفاير أو أنت تحب تروح مساحات أطول وأكثر ف. حيروح يفيدك لكن أنا طبعا إذا تشوف أنا عندي نظام الـ 2.4 جيجا هرت اللي هو العائد اللي تيجي مع الكنترولر وما شاء الله برضو ممتاز يعني تروح مساحة وأنا الحمد لله ما قد ضاعت علي الرسال اللي ضاعت علي الرسال في الفيديو اللي عملتها في الأجبال طبعا كانت الفيديو عندي الفيديو راحت قبل هذا وهذا اللي تبغاه لكن إذا عندك العادي ممتاز جدا إذا تبغى مساحة أكثر وأطول استخدم الكروس فاير Okay, we're gonna go now. We're gonna get into the um, other pieces of equipment that we have. We're gonna put all the quadcopters away, and we'll do it. All right, all right. So everything is gone. Now we're here with the backpacks. We're gonna give you a, a spiel on uh, what to see in the market in terms of uh, equipment to use while you're traveling. فطبعاً عندنا backpacks. You probably should have done that. Well, whatever. عندنا backpacks. طبعاً هنا تشوف عندنا أشياء خاصة للdrone. وعندنا أشياء اللي هو مرة عادي تلاقيها في السوق في أي مكان تقدر تستخدمها في نفس الطريقة لكن عندك شيء يخص الباك باكس تبع الدرون حيروح يفيدك جدا أوكي؟ كل ما so we got two backpacks here and you know at the end of the day it doesn't really matter uh, you know you can start off with just a generic backpack that you can get from an outdoor store and you know most stuff will fit and we'll give some guidance as we go through on how we can put stuff in here nicely. This one here is a purpose-built drone, you know, mini quad backpack. Yeah, I'm uh, to pull this one off. We can start with that. So, get that line out. Tons of storage here. I'll open it up. As we open it up here, uh, and I open up, you can see my quad's inside. So I can pull that out, and I've got all that gear there as well. Um, here, I've got room in here for a 15-inch laptop in this part here, no problems. You put tools in here, I normally have my uh, prop uh, tool there. I got my bag of tools, which we'll have a look at in a moment. And then in here, I've got all my batteries in a little bag just here. I've got lots of different compartments to put stuff, uh, which we'll talk about uh, some of these bits and pieces in here. And then underneath here is where my Tyrannus, <laughs> can't see it, so I'm going to So under here, uh, you can see I got my Tyrannus, I got my goggles, I've got all my antennas over here. I got some extra bits and pieces of tools over here, you know, Allen keys and bits and pieces. Um, and then in the front, in this part here, 
I can put all my props and you need lots of props. Uh, so there's plenty of storage here. I travel with this guy all around the world and it's plenty of room to put all my flying kit plus more, you know, laptops and uh, that sort of stuff, which is fantastic. So, of course, guys, this backpack is from the Low Pro. Low Pro, right? Yeah, Low Pro. Low Pro. طبعا هذه خاص للدرونز اذا فتحتها تقدر تحصل على درون هنا في عندك مساحه ما شاء الله جوا تحط الدرون هنا وعندك برضو اماكن تقدر تحط زي تركب بطاريات تركب الجوجلز عندك شنطه للعده وعندك المنطقه هنا البوكيت تقدر تركب زي لابتوب وشيء وبرضو في محلات تقدر تعلق زي العدات التولز والمفاتيح فتعتبر يعني شيء ممتاز جدا اذا تسافر وتحب تاخذ اغراضك معك سواء داخل او برا المملكه يعني فتروح تفيدك يعني تحط كل شيء منطقه واحده وتقدر تسافر فيها فممتاز شركه لوبر on this quad which I didn't mention no, sorry on this backpack um, there's enough room to take four quads so if you're cashed up and you've got lots of quads one inside one here one here one over here so there is just tons of room and you know room for water bottles and all sorts of stuff for that trekking out into the the cliffs here in saudi arabia so plenty of room which is fantastic so we have an alternative so if you don't want to pay because it does cost a little bit it's about 150 bucks um so we do have something else that i'm about to show you um, I'm going to use the shelter that I'm using for the shelter. Alright, pull that one off. There we go. So, this is Swiss Gear. Swiss Gear, mashallah, is a shelter. And the shelter is a shelter that I have for a while. So, if you open it, you can see that I have all the shelters in it. I have the shelter for the remote control. عندي شنطة ثانية درون وعندي العدات عندي كل شيء يعني حتى نفس الدرونز اقدر اعلقها منها من برا زي الجوجلز عندي تنشغل كذا ففي ما شاء الله ميزات مو زي الثانية الثانية ما شاء الله عندها اماكن كثير تقدر تعلق درونز وبرضه تقدر تعلق درونز من برا على نظام السترابس هنا في 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 الشنطة من فوق او في اي طريق اخرى فاذا انت تبغى يعني حل ثاني ما تبي تدفع 150 دولار هذه تروح تكلفك يمكن حوالي 50 دولار ويعتبر شنطه ممتاز جدا جدا ف يا اي واز جست سين ذات يو نو ذس از جست ان الترناتيف باك باك كوست اباوت 50 بوكس سو اتس ا لوت شيبر اند ات جيفز يو واتس جريت اباوت ات جيفز يو ا لوت اوف سبيس انسايد سويس جير ميكس ات ا لوت اوف ذير باك باكس ار لايك ذات ذي جات ا ليتل هارد بورد هير ذات فولدز اب سو يو كان ميك ات وايدر and uh, they got a lot of pockets inside, a lot of different areas. It's got a place for a laptop, uh, water bottles. I can fit a drone in here with my remote control and I can put and hang my goggles on the outside, so it's good to go. And some solutions, you know, that obviously, you know, this um, hobby is quite expensive. Um, some solutions, you know, whilst uh, AZ's got a beautiful uh, case to put his transmitter in, which sometimes they come with it. If you don't have one of those, what I did was uh, initially when I, before I had this backpack down here, was I maybe went and stole my son's lunchbox, uh, oh, yeah. which was just a zip up. Wait, sons or daughters? Didn't you have a Hello Kitty bag too? Well, we won't go there. <laughs> uh, but it may not have been pink. Uh, but anyway, you know, it just fit my radio really nicely. So you know, go to those two real shops. See if you can find something, you know, just a, a lunchbox for school and you can fit all that stuff in, no problems at all. Exactly. Perfect. There's always an alternate solution, so... Next thing is, I don't, this is just a, a random toolkit that I put together and I don't really take this with me unless I'm going traveling, you know, I'm going away from my home for a few days. If I'm just going for, you know, a trip with AZ yeah. and just out into the desert, I probably won't take this. Mm. Uh, it's just got tools in it that if I'm in a hotel or somewhere and I've broken something that, uh, that I can fix stuff on the road. Yeah. So let's have a bit of a look at what I've got in here. It's a bit like your wife or your, uh, your girlfriend's handbag. There's stuff in here that yeah. who knows what it is, but uh, we'll come across that anyway. Uh, so it's just bad. Yeah. Spare arms. Very important. <laughs> uh, so I've got a couple of those. Uh, I've got 
a wrench or like a multi-tool that has all the different hex drivers and uh, bits and pieces there. You can just get from Seiko. Uh, that is some um, lenses, some spare lenses for your camera, for your FPV camera, because you're going to break them. So I got some spare ones. Uh, just got a manual there for the one of the cameras because I was having Ooh, problems. What's that candy? What's that candy? <laughs> <laughs> no. What this is, is for your batteries. So what you can do is put your uh, balance lead in here. Ah, look at that. Um, and the other clip goes on here, and then that way you stop chucking your balance leads off. Yeah. I don't know how many I've, I've got. Actually, I've got to repair this one. I brought it over to repair it. I chopped this one this morning. Doesn't mean he <laughs> This is true. This is true. Um, so that's what that is. Um, um, this looks like a Leatherman. I found this in Australia, but I'm sure you can find it on Amazon or even probably here in Saudi somewhere. But what it looks, what's really cool is it's a wire stripping Leatherman. Yeah, see, once I saw that, I was like, man, that is exactly what I need. That's an awesome multi-tool. It's got things like the knife on there, some cutters, and then some wire strippers. So very handy thing to have, especially when you got to go strip up a new motor or something like that. You need to cut some power wire or strip something and then quickly solder it. That's a good thing to have. Some super glue to when you, uh, if you've frayed up your arms, like I've got one over there at the moment uh, with the carbon, you can just put a bit of super glue in there to keep the fibers together. Yeah. Or if you chop your finger off, you can yeah. glue it back <laughs> yeah. on. There you go. Um, then you've got this guy, which is just amazing. So this guy is your in field charger. So, where's my cable? Oh no, I lost my cable. Must be at home somewhere. Yeah. But it's a, this I can connect to a 4S or 3S battery and I can now char, uh, now solder in the field. And I've got a little bit of solder here, so if I need to change an AC or a motor or a, a receiver or something like that, I've got a soldering iron that uses the same batteries that I use on my quad and I just find one that is already being used and then I can just run my soldering iron. To crash a lot like me, you cut wires, VTX wires, something comes off the board, quick uh, solution to get that thing going again. Yep, and then just some car charging stuff, so I sometimes take my charger in the car, to charge on the, in the field, and same for these alligator clips to use it on the battery from the car if we're not driving. Right. So that's what it is, you know, a lot of stuff comes in this little bag and uh, it'll get you to keep flying if something happens, you break an arm, you cut up wire, there's a lot of things in here to keep you going. So especially when you're traveling. When you're at your home base, it's a lot easier just to go back and go fix something. But if you're on the go, you're on the road, and uh, you need to keep staying in the air, stay flying, then, you know, this is a great toolkit to have. Something similar to this, I have something similar to this in a little bit different bag, but I do have about the same tools that are in here for more more or less because that'll get you back in the air. So, good deal. طبعا يا جماعة هذه شنطة صغيرة واللي تشوفها هنا ما شاء الله عندك إداك واجد إذا أنت تبغى مثلا تصلح كراش انقطع عليك سلك زي ما تشوف كل شيء اللي شرحنا لكم بيخليكم يعني تو كيب فلاينج يعني ما حتخليك يعني تكسر شيء وخلاص انتهت اليوم كاملا بخصوص وانت مسافر يعني فبتكون شيء مرة ممتاز تبغى تصلح اسلاك تبغى تلحيم عندك كل شيء هنا موجود في العدة وتقدر تستخدمها و you can stay flying. So we're gonna get a little bit closer look on this. Talk a little bit about a 6S build. Okay, so um, I decided to go out and and look into the 6S just to see how things are going to go. I really think 6S is going to become the new thing. So I'm just going to take you through the differences uh, on a 6S build and also what is new on this quad uh, compared to a lot of other quads. So when you look around, everything looks pretty much the same. You got these big guys here, which we spoke about before briefly, which are the capacitors, uh, which help smooth out the smooth out the uh, electricity. Uh, so that we don't have those peaks and spikes which could fry your boards. What size, uh, what size capacitor is it? So these are 50 volt and uh, 470 ferret? Ferret, yeah. Ferret? Cool. Uh, the other difference, when you're running 6S, it means more electricity going in. So you don't want to have high KV motors. You still can, but you're just going to chew up the electricity a lot more and you're going to have ridiculous power when you really don't need it. Um, so 
Normally on the other quads that we're running, we're running around 2300 kV. What's kV? Try to imagine that's RPM uh, is probably the best analogy. So because we've gone up in battery size, we want to come down in kV. So these guys are 1700 kV, um, which allows us to fly a lot longer off this uh, same battery size. Mm. Camera, same camera that I was using on 4S. Flight controller, this is my KISS flight controller, same KISS, uh, this is the KISS V2, but it's the same flight controller I was using on 4S. Uh, underneath here, we have our PDB, or our power distribution board. Now, this is the other thing that I wanted to try this time, which is the new Wolf PDB. Um, so, if you know what the Steel, Mr. Steel PDB is, this is the next generation of that. I think it's going to be pretty amazing. It allows for a lot of other telemetry options. For example, here we have GPS. Now, it's not like your DJI drone where it will fly you home and all that sort of stuff, but what it's really good for is it gives me an indicator of how fast I'm flying, how far away I'm from home, a direction to home, and also a lat long, which will all show up in my goggles. Now, that's all well and good, but if you're going long range, you really want that and you want to record on your uh, DVR on your goggles so that when you do crash, because you will, and if you saw one of the uh, previous videos where I crashed up on a mountain here in Riyadh and it took me hours to find my quad, uh, if I'd had this and I was DVRing, I would have been able to walk, I would have had the lat long of where my quad went down, I would have been able to walk, walk straight there. Yeah, that guy was an idiot. Stupid. <laughs> The other thing that I learned from that crash as well is I had a, a buzzer, so uh, you know a sound like a uh, when I crash that I can flick a switch and it makes a noise. Uh, but the problem was was when I crashed that time, the battery pulled off and ejected, and the quad had no power, which means the buzzer had no power. Now just here is another thing that I fitted because of that. Uh, is the Hellgate buzzer, and it's a standard buzzer, but it also has its own tiny little LiPo battery, and this guy here will continue buzzing for three days, or continuing giving out an alarm for three days. So when you crash and you can't find it, and your battery's ejected, and you forgot to DVR the lat long off this guy, then this guy is going to make a noise for the next three days so that I can go find my quad, uh, which is very, very handy. Uh, Mortal T. Oh yeah, Mortal T. Uh, so we spoke about the UHF off uh, the Crossfire before, so it has a different antenna. So uh, there's two different antennas. You've got your standard dipole, uh, which I run on my other quads, and this one's the Immortal T, which allegedly has a bit better range uh, for long range flying. Unfortunately, this morning I had a bit of a, a crash. I'll insert that now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it had a bit of a crash here with the uh, Immortal T. So the Immortal T is not so immortal, but it's still living, so we'll keep going on. Yeah. Very good. طبعا يا جماعة عندنا الفرق بين الستة سل والأربعة سل. أول شيء حتحصل هنا اللي هو الكاباسيتر اللي هو أربعمية أربعمية طبعا هذه حتروح تساعدك في موضوع التحكيم الكهرباء في ال ESC. فهذه يعني انت لازم تقرا عند الاي اس سي نفسه ويعطيك رؤيه الشركه المصنع انه كم المقاس الكفاسه اللي تحط عليه، طبعا شوف هذول مره كبير فلازم تنتبه وتختار اللي تحتاج ضروري. الشيء الثاني الجديد هذه طبعا نفس الكيس فلايت كنترول اللي قاعد يستخدمها في الفور اس فما في فرق هنا وهذه نفس الكاميرا طبعا ما في فرق هنا بس بالبيلد هذا الجديد عندك البي دي بي اللي تحت الفلايت كنترولر هذه اجدد بي دي بي دي بي من امبلس ار سي امبلس ار سي ف امبلس ار سي اذا عندك المستر ستيل بي دي بي هذه طبعا الجنريشن الجديد uh, بعدين uh, بتكون حلوه عشان هذه برضه تعطيك uh, خيار انك تحط الجي بي اس طبعا جي بي اس هذه مو على نفس النظام الدي جي اي وهذه هذه حتروح تعطيك ال اللات او لونج دايركشنز عندك uh, مثلا زي في الجوجل مابس او شيء عشان تحصل الدرون اذا ضاعت منك وبرضه تعطيك التوجيه في الجوجلز uh, فاذا تبي تحتاج التوجيه وين الطياره اي uh, اي uh, توجيه اخر توجيه الطياره uh, وانت قاعد تسجل دي في ار بتروح تعطيك المعلومات وبرضه يعطيك سرعه الطياره و اه سوري كيب جوينج اوف ذا 
طبعا تعطيك سرعه الطياره وارتفاعها في الهواء فتعطيك معلومات زياده من ناحيه التلمتري تقدر تشبكها كلها مع بعض ما شاء الله فايوه هذه الفرق اي ثينك اي كفرد ايفري ثينك از ذات يا اي ثينك ذاتس باي او سوري الهيل جيت بازر عندك البازر هذه طبعا عندك البازر العادي زي ما كان عندي لما صلحت الكراش لكن اذا طلعت البطاريه من الطياره آه بتروح ما تشتغل البازر وما حتحصل الطياره لكن البازر هذه عليها لايبو آه اسمها هيل جيت بازر وعليها لايبو والميزه انه اذا حتى لو آه انطلقت البطاريه من عند الطياره وراحت منك آه حتعطيك بازر مدة ثلاثة ايام فشيء رهيب جدا آه ومفيد ان شاء الله انا بطلب آه ثنتين او ثلاثة عشان احطهم على كل الطيارات عشان انا اضيع طيارات واجد alright cool All right, guys. Uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys had a great time with me and Malcolm. Uh, let us know down in the comments uh, what you want to see us do in terms of these uh, talking discussions and kind of these new product reviews and stuff about things that we have. And uh, if you want to see us bring in something, especially here if you're in Saudi Arabia and you're in the community, uh, just let us know what you want to see um, in the future and what you want to do. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, and uh, you know we'll be more than happy to, to accommodate. Now. The big news in the kingdom is DRL. DRL. DRL is here. They're going to be coming. Um, the race is on the 14th of September. Yep. Um, it's awesome because the uh, the Federation for for Sports Authority. I mean, the the Sports Authority here in Saudi Arabia has made it free for everybody. You can go online, and uh, matter of fact, I'll link the link down in the description. Uh, you can go online, get your tickets. Uh, it's absolutely free uh, for family, families and singles. So you can go families and singles. Uh, everybody's invited. If you've never seen a, a quad race, DRL is like on another level. So watching a quad race is cool, but watching a DRL quad race is just amazing. I mean, the lighting, it's going to be in uh, King Abdullah Economic City in Jeddah. Uh, in Jeddah. Uh, so it's a little bit outside of Jeddah, and uh, it's going to be amazing. So if you're in the Jeddah area, definitely head down there. Uh, come see us. I'll be down there vlogging. Uh, I did get invited to come down there by um, by the uh, the sports federation. What is it? The uh, Federation for Cybersecurity uh, Programming and Drones. Uh, they're the ones in charge of drones here in, in Saudi Arabia. So they did invite me to go down there. We got to do some teaching uh, events and uh, we'll get to hang out with the uh, DRL racers. I will be blogging. So we'll be putting out um, videos shortly after that. Uh, which will be pretty cool because uh, we'll talk to Nurk and some of the guys down there, which is going to be pretty awesome. So I hope to see you guys there. And if you come, he will give you an autograph. I, Just you know, annoy I, him. I he'll, will. He'll, he'll, he'll I give will. you an autograph. <laughs> so yeah, come by. Uh, if you see me down there, say what's up. Uh, come check us out, and I'll be more than happy to talk to you about drones. Uh, if you're Saudi, dad kadimni anak, nitgabin nihki ala maldur al drones kul shay. Uh, and yeah, I'll be more than happy to speak to you. See Mel down there, come say hi and stuff. Uh, we'll hope to see you guys there very soon. Did we leave anything out? I think, uh, I think we got it. Right. See you there. Got up. See you there. And as always, guys, stay flying. Cool. Cool. Nice.